Welcome to the course of Code Igniter for RESTful API Development using Silt Authentication. Inside this video, we'll discuss about Single S2 Details API. If I back to editor, inside the last video, we have seen the concept to list all the students what we'll have inside our table. Now this time, if we want a specific student detail, so for that, we will create an API. By the help of that, we will pass student ID into URL and on the basis of that ID, we will fetch single specific student's data. Go inside App Folder, Controllers, API, API Controller.php. So inside this API Controller class, we will see our third method and that is single student data. So inside this, inside this method, we are accepting a student ID. So on the basis of this ID, we will retrieve single student information. So let's create an object of student model first. So student object equals to new student model. And as we know that student ID is a numeric value and student ID is also the ID column of our table. So it is a primary key. So we will use find method because the ID what will pass inside this method. It will be the ID column of this table and it's a primary key. So we are not going to use any where condition. Instead, we'll use find method because find method works on the basis of primary key. So here, let's say if, first of all, let's say if not empty student id otherwise we need to go inside this else block let's say response equals to status equals to false message let's say student id student id required and inside data it will be an empty array now go inside this if block, it means we have a student ID. So what we have to do, first of all, and let's cut this object creation. And I will paste that line inside this if block. So once object will be created, so let's say student equals to student object. And we'll call find method. Inside this find method, look at IntelliSense, we need to pass an ID. And also here one primary key or an array of primary keys we need to pass inside this method. So this time we need to pass only this student ID. So copy and paste it here. So let's say if not empty student. So it means we found our student's data. So response equals to let's say status equals to true message let's say student data found and data equals to student otherwise we need to go inside this else block it means we don't have any data so what i will do i will copy this response variable put it here and instead of student id required let's say no student data found so if i save these changes now let's wrap this if block else block so after this if else let's return this respond created and inside this we need to pass our response variable all we have done with this single student data api method now let's go inside config folder, open a file called routes.php. So we need to start development server, already started, go to postman. So what I will do, let's copy one more time all about this link, copy link, go to postman, open a new tab, paste it here, we need to select here the get request type. And inside this URL, first of all, we need to pass our route that is single hyphen student so i will copy the whole route we need to hit using get request type so forward slash api forward slash and this is a url so instead of passing this num as a placeholder we need to pass student id so in this place called num 
we need to pass a student ID. So let's say that we want to fetch this third number student data. So I will go here and let's pass three here. Click on send button. And as we can see that we are getting the respective data of third number ID. So if I go here, let's say 300, as we know that this ID does not exist, click on send button, no student data found. So successfully, now we have implemented one more method inside this API controller class and we have one more API that is for single student's data. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.